So we start with working group report backs. Do we have any of those? Huh? Do any working groups still exist? One. Oh wait, your thing. Where, where, where's my stack? Right here. Who wants to get on stack? Sam's the first one. All right, one. Any other working groups? <laughs> Napoleon, what did I tell you? You don't have thumbs, you don't I count. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right Mike's second on stack. Okay. Um, finance. We got a donation, I think, of like ten dollars or something. Um, but that was kind of nice because it was different from the usual. Um, a reimbursement went out to Charlie for stuff that he had to pay for a Tucson thing. Um, finance is kind of in a very big flux right now. Um. I'm pretty busy the rest of the week, but I will be having a, I'm calling it an emergency finance meeting. Anyone that is interested to be involved in finance in any way, please come to this next meeting. Um, if you want to be involved, email me on Facebook and I will work around your schedule for a meeting as well. Because currently I am the only person on finance and that's not a good thing, plus I don't prefer that anyway. So somebody else please join finance as well. Um, I promise it's not as hard as it sounds or anything. Um, but that will probably be sometime at the beginning of next week. I had a clarifying question. Where do you hold your meeting? Mm -hmm. Where do you hold your meeting? Plaza. Having some, we kind of we we uh, oh wait, this one. we uh, uh we uh went to the human relations committee last night uh and tried to talk about our resolution to move the city's money uh and we were met with 
the banks presenting representatives. <laughs> so, just at a committee meeting, just to see if the human, uh, human relations, what is it? Human, human relations commission. All right, so like, and they were kind of talking about, is this a, they were asking us, is this a human relations issue? We're like, well, I mean, big banks are taking from society. So, and we talked about divesting, and it was just, it was really interesting to see uh, the bank sending high-ranking uh, officials at the meeting, just at a little human relations meeting. So we're going to try to pursue that. The next human relations meeting is in two months because of the city cutback. Um, there's other resolutions going on. Our court cases, if anyone hasn't heard, we had a couple guilties uh, but with time served. And then we got some more court cases coming up on the 6th, April 6th, for the Sleepy 7. And uh, hopefully it will be another legal team meeting. And if anyone's interested in the legal team, uh, I, I would say get a hold of me or someone else. But uh, we could also use some more help on the legal aspect of things. Yeah, I think there's a legal Facebook page and stuff like that. There's a group of, uh, another report back, sorry. No, no, it's not a report back. Well, we'll win the next. We'll announce it. Oh, okay. So, any other working group report backs? No? Okay. I guess, uh, one report back. If you want to join any of the working groups, just meet with somebody that said something about it. Uh, or if there is a yeah, Facebook group, contact them on there. Uh, and like you said, we're going to have a media team meeting right after this. If you're interested in being on uh, the Facebook or Twitter, uh, especially Twitter, uh, definitely get a hold of us because we need some, uh, some new perspective for sure. Excellent. So from that, we move on to, uh, wait, is there anybody asking for reimbursement for shit that they spent? Anybody? No, good. Excellent. No money problem. All right, so from here we move into uh, I propose that Occupy Phoenix turns up the ante by moving into an unoccupied building and starting an Occupy, community, uh, an Occupy Phoenix Community Center as an additional base of operations. This is in solidarity with the other cities within the Occupy movement whom had their own movement. And just for clarity's sake, this discussion is not in any way, shape, and or form about tactics, about strategies, about how to, about what if, at all. This is just deciding on if we want to bring this, this discussion to another one. That's all. So this is yay or nay. All right. I'm going to open up stack with five people. So around that Once you got that, just one. Um, my main question that I had when I was reading this and some of the conversation that came up online, what would this community center slash base of operations entail? Would it be like somewhere that we're staying 24-7 that people would be living there in a sense? Is it going to turn into a commune thing? Like, what, what would the details of that be? my brain so I could give you an answer of what's in my brain but mm. I want what's best for the community and what serves our our, our um, organization but most importantly what serves the greater community okay. um, if this is a community space then perhaps you know hours of operations events um, but there's no there's no commons there's no open space anymore as we know and we can't sleep here so there's also that issue um, so whatever we need is kind of what I can see it happening do we want to start like that? Okay, and then my next question would be, are we talking finding some space we can legally get into, or are we talking about going into a space that is technically considered breaking and entering? And then final question, because it's really short and tacked on, what would the financial requirements be for something like this? As a director, 
direct response. There are several ways. Again, I don't want to get into tactics, but there are ways to, um, you know, there are squatter rights. Squatter rights in Arizona aren't all that wonderful. Um, and it looks like we got a point of information about that. Squatter rights does not exist in the state of Arizona anymore. So, so it's something that we'd have to consider. Um, but generally speaking, um, you'd want to find a building that you don't have to break into. Otherwise, you could be faced with charges. But we're, we're not an LLC or a corporation or anything like that. So, something else. So, kind of this is more of just, do we want to look into doing this? So this is like, do we want to talk yeah, about doing something like this? Okay. Exactly. Uh, Doug, you're next. I love the idea of taking back the public comments. And this is something that's been talked about all over the country, all over the radio. Congress people are all about this. But if we do it through like public lands that are being bought out by private companies, you know, parks locally that maybe are being purchased by private entities, take those parks over and either before they're bought or even after. Okay. Anybody else? All right, so as it stands, from what I'm gathering for this proposal, is that you want to start a working group to start dialogue about this? Is that what I'm getting? Um, for clarity's sake, it wasn't really my idea. I'm just communicating it for someone else, but yes. Um, as I understand it, is should right. we form a working group to begin on creating a media center or whatever? So the proposal is to start a working group. Okay. So, how do we feel about this, folks? Uh, I see some so-sos, some twinkling. <laughs> yeah, right. A whole bunch of D gap. Um, Anywho, all right, so do you guys want up fingers if you want to keep talking, down fingers if you want to? That's what I said. Up fingers if you want to keep talking, down fingers if you want to vote. <laughs> Somebody's going to take some shit over. <laughs> yes. All right, so it looks like we're going to keep talking, folks, because that's what <laughs> Occupy Phoenix does. Yes, damn it. Yeah, fucking whine about shit. Anyways, so I'm going to reopen the stack at five people. We got one, two, three, right here. And five. Okay, so this would probably be something that you would have to get together with the finance group, and in which case, we would have to probably start some kind of fundraising. Probably not going to be something that would be able to help make sense to get involved in. Is that something that, that working group would be able to work with the finance group with? Um, as a direct response, I my guess would we would probably want to form some sort of a spoke council of sorts, um, bring in people from each committee because everyone, this affects all of us, would want to get as much of the expertise as one spot. Um, so I think that that would be kind of Oh, whoever's next can go, because I've already spoken, so I'll let others speak first. I'll just talk again. I mean, working group is a great place to iron out all the details. Uh, I thought I'd throw that out there. 
Court guy thinks you're next. Okay, I'll turn it on. <clears throat> I'm still not like 100% clear on what this is all about. Like if it's like what happened in Oakland where they try to take over space, like a, an abandoned building, or if it's just to get a space of some sort, whether it be an abandoned building, a foreclosure, or whatever. So I'm, just, I'm still kind of curious about what we're talking about here. Because I might have been half listening while I was playing with the camera. Um, and the direct <laughs> response, um, yeah, I mean, I think that I, I could have misunderstood it, but whenever they, they tried to move in with Oakland and some of the other cities, they were trying to do exactly what you just proposed, and that's um, take an abandoned building that's about to be foreclosed. It usually had some sort of monumental significance, like it was a bank or it was something, and they were turning it into something more positive. And, um, I mean, in Europe, they have lots of, like, anarcho collectives and lots of different, like, um, community centers. Um, so it's just not as kosher as the States, I guess. Um, so I think that um, we have a good opportunity of learning from the other cities um, that have already done it, some of the things that work for them, and some of the things that have not done it. As inhabitable in not so great neighborhoods to try to revitalize neighborhoods. And it's an opportunity where, for a thousand bucks, you can end up with almost seventy thousand dollars worth of taxes. So the, the requirement is a minimum of a thousand dollars down uh, out of your own pocket as going for the expenses. And if anybody wants any further information on that, I got it with me. Uh, third thing, our friends from Wells Fargo. Just have any thing out at the Cardinals Stadium this weekend on the 23rd and the 24th uh, to set up people, first time buyers, and help them get into some of these government programs that are available for first time buyers. So, anybody that would like to get some information from them to see what kind of program they have to their availability, to do some kind of like over. <laughs> That's just a suggestion. But the NSP is available until next July, I believe, of 03. I mean, uh, 2013. Excuse me. So, we still got some time to work on that. Excellent. Good information. <clears throat> so, one. I capped it at five. That was five. I said six. Okay. Justice. Justice. Um, there's a million big ass, not, not literally, abandoned buildings in this city. I don't think we need a fucking working group to work on it and keep talking about doing things. I think we need to start doing shit. I think that's why people fucking laugh at us so fucking much. Because all we do is sit around and cry and fucking talk about what we want to do and create a fucking group to talk about doing this. Let's fucking do some shit. Like, seriously, find a fucking building, say, that's it, let's fucking do it. I got a point of interest. <clears throat> then do it. Why are you waiting out here in GA to listen to working groups? You could be out right. there doing it. Because Point of process. Because it just fucking came out, Doug, and I'm trying to get everybody fucking lined up to do it. Point of process. Because I don't want to go do it by my fucking self. Do I have to use my EG point of process, too? Or... <laughs> Come on, guys. All right. <laughs> You really don't want me taking my boots off. That's bad for everybody involved. Anyways, all right. So, who's next? Yeah, three on sex, Doug. Uh, and I'm spent. That's how you... It's theatrics, Doug. Theatrics. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take a temperature check because it seems like there's some. Uh, what are those words? Emotions. There we go. There's some emotions about this. People are feeling some sort of way. So, temperature check. Up fingers to keep discussing. Down fingers to just form a, a working group in order to correlate all the necessary data to do this. Okay? That's what I just said. Okay. So, who wants to keep talking? Put your fingers up. Excellent. Who wants to just go ahead and form a working group? Excellent. Now, the first person to raise their hand in the air, come on. First person to raise their hand in the air gets to head up this working group. 
Oh, everybody wants to. Oh, excellent. You, sir, are the proud owner of the working group. So, now that that's passed, we now have the head of a working group. Now you guys can correlate data, do all the smart shit, and then we can go take a building. That half-ass consensus! Yeah! Anyway. Just because me, as a person, I value blocks, and this affects all of us, I do just want to put out a random chance for someone to block, and I'd, I'd like to know if we're going to lose you. And I'd love to hear your input on it. So. Fuck off the first thing you've ever said that I agree with. We're all <laughs> down. <laughs> Well, is there any blocks? Right now, it's only a working group, so right there's now, not really point yeah. block. <laughs> Why would you... I, I'm sorry, I'm a little confused. Why would anybody block the forming of a working group? I, I kind of got it's, cut off It's the process, that's why. When you decided to tax <clears throat> check, I don't even really know why it was a proposal, because we never proposed to form working groups before they just got formed. That's fine. <laughs> it was the one proposal we had, that's <laughs> why. We call it progress. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have someone on stack over here. Um, it's already over. Uh, we're going to move into announcements. Announcement. Let the guy speak. The guy's got something he wants to say. Let the guy say something. He was missed in stack. Are you going to start a Facebook? Probably. Tweaker stole it already. Who stole it? I'm done. My job here is complete. Hey, we saw an announcement. Yeah. yeah, they don't need me for announcements. That's they part of the facilitative. That's why they have somebody for um, staff. Yes. All right, fine. For announcements, then, I'll be the first to do announcements, and I'll pick up facilitation. Um, I'll, uh, I'll call facilitate. Okay, great. I just, I just want to say that um, if I'm not going to be setting up a... Um, I see this as being, again, like kind of like a spoke council, so the people that are really passionate about this, especially if you've been involved in a working group, please contact me after this meeting, um, because I'm not going to be setting up a Facebook for it at all, because I think that we should consider legal, potential legal repercussions. Um, so I'd just like to know who we are, and I'll coordinate with you guys individually um, so we can get this ball rolling. Um, but outreach is going to be involved as well at some point, but right now it's not that time. Um, any other announcements? We'll pick up stack. Raise your hand if you got something important. One. Does anybody else have any announcements? We have Rick. One. I come here to Two. Two. Hold on one second. Go ahead. That's okay. I have uh, actually a couple of them. Number one, April 1st. Important day, 12 noon. We are reoccupying. <laughs> Number two, I spoke to somebody about you sponsoring us in a project of hydroponics. And he's willing to sponsor us to what degree of the expense has been decided yet because he has not looked at the space that we will be using. Or it has been decided what space would be used, whether it be at the house or another secured location. But he is all for it. He's been at several of our GAs. He's familiar with us. And he wants to sponsor us as much as possible. Our only thing would be to maintain the garden and to sort of give him some advertisement type back I don't think that's too big of a requirement to get. Do you have another announcement? That was two. Okay. Uh, we have uh, two direct responses to that. Uh, one and Sam's two. Uh, my direct response to that was, I remember the one GA we agreed to discuss it, but we haven't discussed logistically reoccupying such as a date or a time? Did, did I miss something? Uh, I have uh, direct, I guess, uh, sort of information on that. Uh, we posted today that we were going to discuss that uh, today at the GA. So um, I guess we do that after announcements, discussing if we were going to reoccupy this space or another space. 
To an actual last event. Time, excuse excuse me. Let's just go back to point of process. This is a point of process. Okay. Well, right now this is back and forth discussion, so use your symbol so that I know what's going on if you want. I'm totally fine with that. Okay, I have cool. a direct response. <laughs> okay, great. Um, use your hands, not your words. <laughs> last time at GA, I, we did discuss April 1st, but we were going to, like, I thought there was going to be a working group or something where we can talk about what time we want to do, whether it was going to be 7 to 11 or whatever start time, end time, um, if we're going to do it here, there, wherever. So I, I don't know that that's happened yet, so we can't really say that it's at noon and we're doing this. Uh, we have uh, Sam. Uh, she can go real quick, because it, it might reflect what I think. No, no, that no we never event. decided an actual event. We just decided to give discussion right. and form discussion about reoccupying on that day. We never actually yeah. consent to an actual date and time. I thought that was friendly, but then to the proposal itself, and there was a proposal not passed. I thought that was part of the proposal itself. Not so from I what just I want to chime in, and I just want to say, let's just have a, talk, a discussion about this after the General Assembly. Um, we're still trying to do an um, and so, as I'm assuming, I'm, what I'm hearing is that a lot of details need to be ironed out. Um, so can we have an open mic discussion about that after the meeting? Is that agreeable? Cool. Um, I know we had another announcement yeah, or two, uh, right? Yeah, uh, next up on staff. <coughs> for yeah, uh, for announcements? Do you have an uh, announcement? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. you're, so you're next. You're up. Okay. 
So buyer beware if you're ordering from Overstock. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. I don't have a date okay. for my emergency meeting yet. All right, anyone else have any other announcements? I guess the only other announcement is our next General Assembly is Friday at 7. So obviously be aware of that. So. A clarifying question, is that going to be um, more the open mic format or is that going to be with proposals? Uh, proposal GAs are Tuesday and Friday. Open mics are on Thursday and Saturday. Awesome. Um, okay, so um, I believe there's two different topics um, for the open mic. Um, we have a topic about um, the reoccupation, um, as well as, a t as if anyone wants to talk to me about forming that uh, working group for um, for the community center, um, go ahead and meet with me. Otherwise, we're adjourned. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming out. Really excited to see what happens from this, and um, we touch. Yeah.